welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm tina today is a sunny sunday morning and i am headed to style encore they are having their 70% off sale. Uh, I typically like to go when it's 90% off, but I don't even see an announcement for that. So I figured I'd go check out the 70%, see if we can find anything good to flip online on eBay. Um, the sun is shining in heavy today and I am realizing how dusty and dog hairy, dog hairy, uh, my car is. <laughs> I have to clean this sucker out before tomorrow. Um, anyhow, yeah. Okay, so I head right to the shoe rack as soon as I walk in. This is a pair of Blondos, and they are asking $45 for these before the 70% off. So I really don't see any value as far as resale. Uh, a lot of these look like smaller sizes. Um, this right here is a pair of Toms. I don't even know what this brand is, but they look pretty cheap. $15 just doesn't seem worth it. And we have a pair of Lucky Brand for $32. I mean, they're kind of nice, but I just don't see the value as far as resale. I can't even figure out what this brand is. I wanted to say Jambu, but no, I don't believe so. And we have another pair of Lucky Brand. While these look super cool with the what are they called? Rivets? Um, they're just too pricey for me. Uh, then we have a single Sanook here. Uh, that brand, I, I feel like the popularity kind of faded fast with them. I used to like that brand. Uh, and then we have a bunch of boots in this basket. So far, everything I'm seeing, including the Hunters, are just really either worn or priced up or just kind of not desirable. Um, so yeah, so far I am striking out here. Uh, these are a pair of Eddie Bowers. They look half decent. I think I'm going to pick those up. <laughs> that is my first pair that I am getting. And this pair looks decent, but again, they are just too priced up for me to be able to resell. Cat and Jack, Target brand. Uh, I take a brief, brief look at the pants. I'm not super interested in reselling these pants. Um, I've been trying to stay away from jeans and pants. Uh, I've been listing my death pile of jeans, but that's basically about it. However, I will check out the leggings and see if we can find any Lululemon or anything good like that. Okay, so now we are over here. There are a couple bins of purses, a lot of uh, Vera Bradley in here. So I'm looking for the ones that maybe are new or aren't worn. I really tossed that sucker back in there, but I did want to purchase that. So I'm not sure why I threw it back. Uh, this is like an odd one. Um, it is new with tags. It's kind of a coated quilt, like a shiny coated quilt, not like a fabric to the touch. Uh, this I feel like is a really nice coach bag. However, it is tagged $55 and I'm just not sure. It looks very clean inside. I'm just not sure of the resale on this. So I did hang on to that coach for a while, but I do end up putting it back, which is good because the resale value is not that great. The Tory Burch I just pushed to the side uh, really had a ton of wear. This is a very cute bag, but don't recognize the brand. Here we have more Vera Bradley. Most of these I just feel like aren't good styles um, or they're older patterns. The black one I believe is a... Um, Oh, this is a uh, keeper tote, a fossil keeper tote, which used to be very popular. Um, I did want to look that up and then I never went back to it. I totally forgot. The black and white one underneath that I first pulled out and here we go. It's near that one. <laughs> it's a Betsy Johnson, but I passed on that too. Um, 
so yeah, more Vera Bradley, just a lot of older basic retired patterns. This brand I've never heard of. Uh, I think it was like some kind of a German brand. Maybe I should have looked more into it, but it did have a lot of wear on the strap. So I decided not to invest, not to invest much more time into it. Still digging through the Vera's here. Uh, sometimes the larger ones do better. This is one of those hanging travel kind of things, even though it was a newer pattern. I passed on it because the travel, hanging travel things never really do too well. This was a cute bag. I uh, didn't really recognize the brand and it had uh, some issues with the hardware. So the sleeve of this jacket catches my eye. It is a coach. Unfortunately, it is not on sale. Uh, I believe it's the top rack that's on sale. So I quickly look through some of these jackets, not seeing anything super, super interesting to me. Um, this one's kind of cute, but not really. They have a bunch of Christmas sweaters, uh, Christmas shirts on 70% off, but again, didn't really see anything that struck my fancy. This I thought was kind of neat, but it was just kind of like one of those off brands it seemed. So yeah, I'm gonna dig through the vests for a little bit. This is Iman, which is a QVC or HSN brand. It's a 4X. I almost picked that up because it is on sale and it was very nice, but I feel like that brand does take a while to sell and might not sell for a whole lot. We have a torrid piece, but it's in white. Uh, I don't know. This Columbia Windbreaker was new with tags. It was a 4X, but they wanted $30 for it, so I ended up passing. I just didn't think it was going to be worth it. So now I decide to comb through the athletic wear shirts that are on clearance. Uh, this felt kind of weird um, to be in this section and I did not recognize that brand. Um, so yeah, I just kept flipping through here. Lots of Under Armour. There were tons of Under Armour pieces. This is a Stella McCartney Adidas uh, sports bra. I don't know why it was in with the t-shirts, but it was $8 plus 70% off, so I decided to grab that, even though it is an extra small. Excuse my jacket and my bag in the shot here. I don't know what I was doing with the camera. But yeah, so I decided to add that to my huge pile. As you can see, I've done a lot of shopping in between filming. Back here to the shirts, lots of Nike. Uh, this is an Athleta piece size small. I just wasn't real real sure of the style. I don't know. Something about it I just did not like, even though it doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't like it, I guess. This is an Athleta basic shirt with some ruching on the side and the shoulder, but I love, I love a basic shirt. It is a size small. Uh, I can't, I can't tell what the price was, but you guys can see that in the haul. So lots of Under Armour, again, just tons of it. This Adidas was a crop top, cute, but it had a lot of wear to it. Uh, this right here, kind of neat, didn't recognize the brand. Some Reebok, some Fila, more Adidas. Uh, the North Face, I don't know, that had a lot of wear too. Uh, that's a cute Nike, but I passed on it. Had one of those cut out necklines. This is another Athleta piece. I should have probably looked more into that. I did pick it up, contemplated it, and essentially ended up putting it back, but I probably should have gotten that one. See, I'm looking at it again. Tina, why didn't you just put that in the cart? <laughs> Okay, here we have a 76ers. This is kind of a plain Jane shirt. I'm saying that, but the gray one I picked up was kind of plain too. Here's another Under Armour. It is a plus size and I like the print. So I do pick that one up. <laughs> I 
almost didn't, but then I did. This one is also plus size, so I'm contemplating that, but I don't know. The resale on Under Armour isn't totally spectacular. This is a Torrid piece, which is pretty nice. Torrid usually does well, but I just ended up passing on that. Kind of a plain, plain shirt. More Under Armour. Nike. This, another Adidas crop. I really like this too, but the label on the front just looked so cheaply sewn on to me. Like, I don't know. I just, it didn't, it didn't look like quality. More Under Armour. I'm not sure why I'm staring at that one. I passed through so many. Champion, kind of a crop. Um, Champion made a comeback. It really did, but I still don't think it's like super popular. Uh, another Under Armour, another plus size Under Armour. I like the color to that, but I pass on it. More Under Armour. So yeah, then I move up to the bras, hoping to find maybe like some Lululemon or something like that, but not really seeing anything like that. I'm gonna finish up here and I will show you guys the haul. Okay guys, so I spent a little more time in there than I had planned. Um, it is like 1 p.m. already. I was in there for two hours. Holy moly. Anyway, I spent a total of $169.62 uh, and I will show you what I got when we get back to the warehouse, I'll do the full haul. I did have to voice over while I was in there because the music was like super loud everywhere I went. Uh, I did not film the entire time I was shopping, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, I think I got some decent things for resale. So let me get back to the warehouse, get this haul done and start listing some. All right guys, so let's get into this haul. And also real quick, if you are not familiar with Style Encore, it's kind of like a sister store to Plato's Closet. It's a resale shop. People take items in and they get paid out uh, for what the store decides to keep and resell. And if the store doesn't want anything, they will give it back to the people. Um, it's not consignment. It's like once they're paid out, Style Encore owns the item. They can do whatever. Price it however. Um, I don't think I don't think I've never personally taken anything in there. I do, I have heard of people taking items in from the bins and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think they pay a lot per item, at least for, you know, like typical mall brand items. You might get like two or three bucks, uh, maybe if you're lucky. I don't think they I really don't think that they uh, pay a lot. I did hear as I was checking out, I heard a woman uh, that came in to see what they had decided to keep out of her bag and they said sorry we're being super selective right now we only kept one item and your payout is three dollars so I'm like ooh, <laughs> I don't know but anyhow let's get into this haul so again I spent 169 dollars and change 62 cents maybe can't quite remember but this is what I got so I did get some bags this is a Kate Spade bag. I'm not sure of the name yet. I I have not looked any of this stuff up. I went by gut um, and style and stuff like that. So uh, this is just strictly a haul right now to show you what I got for my money. The interior of this is very nice. They had this priced for $65 in store. 70% uh, off was about $19.50. Uh, and I just love this. It's very Barbie core. Um, but like I said, it's in very nice condition. There are, there are a few very faint surface marks, uh, like on the back. Where is it? Right here. I'm not sure what that is. I can't tell if it's wear that I can wipe off or if it's like some type of a scratch, but it's very faint. And it did not stop me from purchasing this. Uh, next bag I got is a Dunian Burke. This is like an ostrich type, type leather. 
not sure of the style name with this either. And again, this was probably around 1950 my cost. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a very nice bag. The strap is adjustable. It's like a cross body. I did get some Vera Bradley. Uh, this one, and this is kind of like the newer Vera Bradley label. Not sure the pattern of this. I will have to look it up. This was about $6 after my discount. Oh, this is 2018. They're even dated now. Hmm. So yeah, I thought that this one had like an eyeglass case in it, but I don't see it. So I'm not sure. Um, okay. This one I really like. This is a smaller Dooney and Burke. This one was $50. So I think I paid about 15 for it. Um, very, very nice. Like, where's the strap? Very, very nice condition though. Like I don't see any flaws on the exterior. Interior looks good, nice and clean. Just really like that bag. Uh, okay, looks like we have some clothes now. I thought I got a couple more bags. They may be at the bottom of this. Um, so this is an Eddie Bauer down vest. It is a size large tall. I do think that it was supposed to have a hood attached or a detachable hood. It doesn't have the hood with it. And it was $28 with the percentage off. So I'm not even sure off the top of my head for that one, but anyhow, it is down goose down filled and you know, Eddie Bauer stuff in store is very expensive. So I went ahead and got this. All right, then I picked this up. This was probably like a dollar eighty. And I don't think this brand sells for a crazy amount. It's electric yoga and it's a size small, but it doesn't have like any pads or inserts or anything. Just a sports bra, but I really like how it's like a glossy kind of snake print, kind of like shiny, I guess you could say. And I I know a lot of people like that look. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. Uh, and then I did pick up a Victoria's Secret sports bra type thing. Um, this is a size small, I believe. Oh, 32D. It's weird. It doesn't look like a 32D. It looks like a small. It looks very small. But anyhow, this ended up being probably uh, maybe like, I don't know. It was regular $8. Listen, I'm not going to keep doing the math here. It's slowing me down. And uh, like I said, you guys already know the total. This I thought was really cool. This is Stella, McCart Stella McCartney um, for Adidas. Even though it is an extra small, at least that's what it says. Yes, it is It is an extra small, but I'll tell you, I love a good animal print. And I mean, athletic wear in January, come on now. So I really tried to comb through the athletic wear. Um, this is Athleta. It is just a basic gray t-shirt, but I love a basic gray t-shirt. It does have like this ruching on one side. It is, oh, it's also got some up by the, up by the sleeve. It's a size small. I wish this was my size because I really like this shirt. So this cost me $6, but it is like mint. It is in great condition. There's no pilling. There's no signs of wear. And Athleta stuff can can be quite, quite pricey. This is from 2020, so it's not super old. I will have to look up the style name. Love a gray t-shirt. I just do. All right, then I picked this one up. This is a North Face. This probably costs about $3.90 maybe after all was said and done. This one's a size large, just a workout kind of tank. Again, because these are shiny, I picked these up. These are Zoba. 
and these end up costing me three dollars they are new with tags and they are a size small more more workout gear i really like those uh these are really nice too this is victoria sports and these are a size medium i mean there was a phase when victoria's secret was like all the rage like my youngest daughter had me had me there all the time buying the leggings and the sweatshirts and and this was probably maybe three four years ago now i believe the rage has died down quite a bit but i still picked these up these about three dollars and ninety cents these are just awesome they have a mesh animal print again I love a good animal print. These are just a really nice pair of leggings. Um, very Look to be very gently used. Like I said, that animal print. Love it. Oh, here's another Vera Bradley. And this is like a shiny. What is up with me and the shiny stuff today? This is not the typical quilt, um, even though it is quilted, but it's like a shiny thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is a puffy crossbody ink blue. Yeah, and that is still new with the tag. This one was about, uh, probably cost me about $4. So yeah, little, little, little more than $4. All right, then I got a North Face medium, just a women's purple, kind of like a run top to run in, like a, a base layer or whatever. 19 in store, 70% off, so probably like 550-ish, I'm going to say. These are super super clean. These I mean, they don't even look worn. Like there is no signs of wear on these. These are Athleta. They are an extra small. So, extra small takes a little while longer to sell, but I could not pass these up just because the condition is like amazing. Um these were 18, so probably five something. Um, I'll have to see if I can find the style number because that way I can tell what exactly these are. But I think they will do well. This here is RBX. This is sold a lot at like TJ Maxx, this top. I decided to get this one for myself. It's kind of like a waffle knit, cowl neck, love a cowl neck. I don't know how, I don't know if I'm going to love the purple on me, to be honest. So maybe this will go up for sale if I don't like it, but I did purchase this for myself and I think it cost me around three something or other. No, 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 no. Cause it was 15. Didn't I say I was done doing the math? And here I'm still trying to do the math. I need someone to, to tell me to put a stock in it. So look at this reusable bag. This is a fairly large reusable, reusable bag. It's not quite Ikea size, but it's still a nice bag, although it is fabric. But I'm thinking about taking this to rummage sales, maybe in addition to my Ikea bag. But I know... A lot of people are like, I can't stand the crinkling and yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? I need something large to hold my stuff. Um, so, and Ikea bags, I mean, come on now. Who doesn't have an Ikea bag or 14 of them? But anyhow, this will make a nice little addition as long as it can hold up because it is one of those fabric type deals. Sometimes I pick up really heavy stuff. I can I can see these handles given out eventually, but for clothing, it works really well. Anyhow, enough of that. Next item is a logo, Lori Goldstein. Ooh, it's logo lavish. Uh, sold on QVC. This is a size large. It's kind of like a bohemian. I picked this up because uh, $11, so $3.30. Um, look at me still doing this freaking math. Just, just, just stop me now. Stop me now. Anyway, you know, this is nice. It is, um, it is still new. 
I would say, because it's got this little extra like eye hook thing still attached. No one wore that with that attached. I mean, come on. So yeah, not a bad pickup. And now we are on to the second bag. This is a women's uh, size 20. This is an Orbis, um, an Orbis top, $17 they had it priced there. It's like a three quarter sleeve, but Orbis does pretty well for me. It sells pretty fast. So I said, you know what? I'll pick it up. Uh, then I got another North Face piece, another women's medium, kind of another, it's like a quarter zip. Quarter zip, I think it's got thumb holes. No, it doesn't, no it doesn't. But this is kind of like, you know, again, another athletic piece in kind of like a maroonish. All right, this right here is Sandy Liang, Le Le maybe? I don't know how to pronounce this. It's for Target. It is for Target. It was originally $40, Spotted Leopard. Still has the tag. Uh, this one, however, I did look up. I did look this piece up before I purchased it. They did want $14 for it at Style Encore. So you do the math. Aren't you guys proud of me? I didn't do it this time. I, I, I was tempted, but I didn't. Um, anyhow, this has, again, animal print why am i so crazy about animal print uh and animal print and camo like totally obsessed but anyway this has like a ruffle type sleeve it's a hoodie i don't even know what size it is it is a size small but one similar sold for 35 dollars plus shipping so so there you have it Okay, then I picked up these Simply Southern, and this brand I think does fairly well. I did not look these up or anything, but these are a pair of Simply Southern tie-dye leggings. They have this cute little uh, tie right here, and I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. These were $13 in the store. Again, I didn't look them up, but I think they'll do okay. All right, then I picked this up just because it was plus size and I kind of like the print. Uh, it is an Under Armour Loose Fit 2X. And Under Armour, I mean, you can get things decently priced on their website, like on sale or whatever. So, you know, it doesn't bring in a crazy amount of money, but I figured this is an excellent condition. It's going to sell. It's gonna sell. It's not just plain Jane. It's got a it's got a print to it. So yeah. Next item is another Athleta piece. This is a size large. It's kind of like a cross strap. Cross strap. That came out of my mouth weird. Uh, just a tank, like an orange tank. Again, looks like a newer piece of Athleta. I will have to. Check the number for the exact, oh yeah, 21. So this is definitely new, newer. Um, oh wait, it's for spring of 22. So that was like last, last spring. I will find the exact style name of that. Alrighty, then, and that was 13 from Style Encore price, not the price I paid. Another one, 13, another Athleta. I, lo I personally love Athleta. Um, and I never really find a whole lot of it in my size when I'm like thrifting or whatever, but I have bought several pieces at retail. Um, and I kind of want some more. I just need to, there's only one store in this area and I need to get in there to actually like try some things on. But anyway, this is, I think the back is kind of like, oh, it is. It's like a mesh. Just another athletic type shirt. Oh, and this one's in a large. Okay, that's not as, oh, that's in a large too. Okay, then we have a pair of shoes. These are Eddie Bauer. Only pair of shoes I picked up. I felt like the shoes were a little bit pricey, even with the 70% off. Um... So yeah, these were $22 pre-discount, but they're in very, very good condition. And again, like I said, Eddie Bauer can be very expensive. Um, I know like I've shopped in their outlet 
a few times and even like their outlet prices like eddie bauer's crazy uh so these are kind of nice with this braided braided type thing these are oh you know what these are not even from eddie bauer like these are from kohl's delight pine they're called they're a women's size seven so i have not shopped in kohl's for a very very long time um so i had no idea that they picked up the eddie bauer line but that's okay i mean these are cute they are cute okay then we have another bag at the bottom here this is another vera bradley i am pretty sure that i've sold this exact one before and this is in excellent condition uh cost me six dollars i couldn't help myself i did the math again it was very easy um cost me six dollars <laughs> and uh oh wow look at look looky here <laughs> Saddle up, baby. <laughs> I guess that's the style of the bag. It was originally 70 bucks, uh, and it is new with the tag tucked inside. It didn't look like it was worn at all. So yeah, this is, oh, okay, here we go. It's even got the little green thing here where the tag ripped off. So that's a nice little, nice little surprise. I like this bag. So yeah, that is, that is my haul. What do you guys think? $169. Was it worth it? Do you guys think I got a good lot of stuff here? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you have a style encore around you and if you ever shop their sales. Um, I've shopped their 90% off before, but uh, this time I'm like, you know what? I want to get in there now and see what I can find for 70% off. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a few things, uh, even shoes, that I would have purchased at 90% off, just not 70% off. So when they do have that, I may go back. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, until then, I'm going to list this pile of stuff. So I'm going to start photographing it at least anyhow. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you're new here, I do a bunch of different stuff. Uh, I've been doing a lot of warehouse videos lately because the winter is a little, it's a little funky. It's a little funky. Uh, thrifting's been a little funky. There's no yard sales. Estate sales are still a little, a little uh, like on Christmas vacation. <laughs> Even though it's January 8th, um, but they'll come back and uh, before we know it, things will be back into the swing of things uh, and I can't wait. But anyway, again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.